Hey everybody, this is Freedom is the Right coming to you with a brand new video review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Studio Series 86 Voyager Class Scourge. This is a really great figure to add to the collection and I'm excited to bring him to you. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So coming in here we can take a look at Scourge in his vehicle mode, his little space boat. And coming to the front we see there's a really nice Decepticon symbol here. And also we can see the nice sculpted detail on this blue plastic. There's some nice paint along here with this kind of grayish color. Um, we can see the engines, which looks really nice. The feet are kind of hanging out back here. They're folded up pretty nicely, though. In all honesty, there's not really any gaps or anything. This is the top. The bottom, we can see everything folds up and compacts pretty nicely. Things are fairly well hidden. You can kind of see the hands poking out here, which maybe could have been hidden a little better but overall I think it's pretty well done. And another cool feature about the vehicle mode is, just like we saw in the 86 movie, you can actually come in and open this up and Scourge can have his head looking out in the boat mode, which I think is a really cool attention to detail. It's a fun thing you can do. So we can go ahead and close that back up and I will also say some people have some issues with lining this part up like the face doesn't fit as well and you can kind of see it and one thing I did notice is and I'll show you later during transformation there's a certain part that runs along here that has to be lined up correctly so that it fits into this piece right so that it hides the face completely but yeah I'll showcase that a little later um, now coming in for weapons he does have his blaster, which is cast in a blue plastic and sculpted really nicely. I like the look of it. It's really cool. And there is storage, of course. There are ports here on either side, and you can go ahead and plug that in. So that's a place you can go ahead and put that. So we can go ahead and take this and put it aside. And yeah, overall, there's no wheels, so obviously he can't roll. He's just kind of a space boat. Um, I really enjoy this design. He's really cool. He's very faithful to G1, to the series, and to the movie. And that pretty much covers it for vehicle mode. So we will go ahead and get down to transformation. So coming in here, um, the transformation is pretty straightforward. It's really enjoyable to convert him back and forth. It's fairly easy. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to start by coming to these sides and kind of pulling these panels out and freeing that up and then we can come under here and we're just going to want to fold out these little wing sections. Now we can go ahead and free up these sections. Just kind of pull that out. And now we're going to want to split this up here and this will kind of hinge out like that. And we're going to want to also hinge out this side here. So it looks like this. And now earlier I was talking about um, lining this section up so that the head is covered appropriately. So I'm gonna fold this out of the way for a second. Um, so this whole assembly that's attached here to this piece, you have to make sure that the, the knees are at the proper angle so that when this tabs in, this is straight. Because if the knees are at a different angle, if they're not straight like this, it'll kind of bend up and then this won't line up appropriately. So um, we're gonna go ahead and take this and fold that up and we can untab this section. There's tabs here and here that go to the back of the legs and we can hinge this up. And now what we're gonna wanna do is fold this section inside and then we can hinge this down and hinge this back and this is all going to come into here like this and that's how that compacts up and then we can fold this back and we're going to go ahead and take this and fold this up like that now coming to the wings we can take and fold this piece and fold that like this and this is on a hinge and we can kind of just hinge it up so it sits like that um, coming in we can do the same process fold that in make sure this is hinged up all the way hinge this um, this is folded down 
And now we can come in and there is a tab in here that's gonna tab to this. So you can hinge this out and tab that in. And we're gonna do the same on the other side and tab that in. And now you can kind of adjust the wings accordingly. And now we are going to come down here to the hands and these peg in, there's a peg here that goes into the hand here. And we're gonna unpeg that and just hinge this whole assembly up and snap it into place and bring the arm down. And there we have one arm done. Now we can come to the other side, do the same, pull that, hinge this up and tab that into place. And now we can go ahead and come to the legs, pull these apart. There's a tab that goes into a slot here. And now we're just gonna fold out the feet, fold that part out and come in here, fold out the heel spur like that. And we're gonna repeat the same process on the other side. Fold out the heel spur. And we are just about done. The finishing touch, we're gonna go ahead and take this on top of Scourge's head and rotate it around. And now there we have Scourge, and he is all transformed up into his really nice looking robot mode. So we can go ahead and come in close, take a look at the head sculpt, which looks really nice. Got some nice red paint for the eyes, some white for the face. We have his little robot mustache going on, which is really cool. Um, up here we have the nice little spot of like pinkish paint. As a detail, the face is sculpted really nicely. Sculpted all the way in the back too. And we have this little collar here which is sculpted really nicely. Autobot insignia on the chest. Some nice grayish paint here for the abdomen section. And also along the arms. And then we also have the iconic look of his pink painted fingertips. Which is really nice. And this side is molded in a way so he can hold his gun. And this side is kind of molded like this like he's reaching out his hands. Coming down here to the legs, we have some nice gray paint as well, some blue plastic, nice sculpting, and the wings are sculpted really nicely. They look really great. And from the front, this guy looks really awesome. He, looks, he cleans up really nicely. There's no gaps or anything, no hollow spaces. The back, the wing section is, it's kind of kibbly, but honestly, it doesn't bother me all that much because I don't really look at him from the back. When he's in robot mode, I'm just kind of focused on the front, which looks really great. It presents really well. Looks very accurate. And also we can bring in his weapon and arm him up. Here we have the weapon again, just that blue sculpted piece of plastic. And we can go ahead and plug that in to his hand and have him armed up, which looks really nice. And he also does come with a nice purple blast effect, which is cool. And that does plug into the end of his weapon, like that. So you can have him firing on an enemy. And also, setting off the weapon and the blast effect to the side, we can get into um, some articulation as well. So the head is on a ball joint, I believe. It does rotate side to side. He can look down slightly. Um, it rotates. Uh, it doesn't rotate all the way around because of his little goatee. It gets in the way, but still pretty good range of motion there. Um, these, the arms do rotate and they would go the full 360 if it weren't for the wings here. They can hinge outward this far. He does have bicep swivel. The arms get a 90 degree bend, which is nice. Um, now as far as the wrists moving, this one, um, it doesn't seem to move for me and I don't want to force it because I'm afraid I'm going to break it off. But coming to this side, this hand um, does have some rotation in it. So that's nice. Um, coming down here, we do have thigh swivel, which is nice. We do get a bend of about 90 degrees at the knee.
coming down here, the toe does move forward a little bit to the transformation, and we can hinge out. The hinge for the um, ankle rocker isn't the best, but it still gives you a little bit of motion there. So that pretty much covers that. All right, so now coming in with some size comparisons. Here he is next to uh, Voyager class Megatron. See how these guys look together. And coming in next, we have him compared next to Deluxe class Studio Series 86 Jazz. See how these two look together? And coming in next we have Kingdom War for Cybertron Voyager class Cyclonus. And these two look really great together. Now we just need Galvatron to complete the trio. And now coming in here with Studio Series 86 Voyager Class Hot Rod. You can see how these guys look together. And that just about wraps it up for Studio Series 86 Voyager Class Scourge. Um, overall, this guy is really awesome. He looks really great, very animation accurate. The paint is really nice on him. The sculpted detail looks really great. Um, conversion engineering is really straightforward. It's fun to convert him back and forth. Uh, one kind of weak spot for this guy is I would say his articulation. Although it's there, he is kind of hard to handle with posing out, especially with like the legs. And I do kind of worry about chipping some of the paint with um, rotating at the thigh swivel. But other than that, he's really great. Um, I think I would give him a solid eight and a half out of 10. And I'm really glad I added him to the collection. So let me know down below what you think. Do you agree? Do you not? And until next time, I'll see you all later.